Integrating an Esvis H9C dual-lens Wi-Fi smart camera with a Dahua HVR can enhance your home security system by allowing you to stream live footage from the camera and record it directly on the HVR. In this guide, we'll walk you through the steps to successfully integrate the Esvis H9C with your Dahua HVR, ensuring that both devices are on the same local network. Before starting the integration process, Ensure that your Esvis H9C camera is set up and operational. The camera should be connected to your local network via Wi-Fi. Similarly, make sure that your Dahua HVR is connected to the same LAN or Wi-Fi network, using the same router or modem. This network alignment is crucial for both devices to communicate effectively. To integrate the Esvis H9C dual-lens camera, Start by connecting your Dahua HVR to a monitor or TV screen and logging into the admin account using the HVR's interface. Once logged in, navigate to the Camera section where you can manage your connected cameras. Next, locate the Channel list within the Camera section to review the available channels and determine how many IP cameras your HVR can support. In this example, the 4-channel Dahua HVR can support two IP cameras by default, with channels 1 to 4 for analog cameras and channels 5 and 6 reserved for IP cameras. If your HVR only allows one IP camera on channel 5 and you need an additional channel for the dual-lens ESVIS camera, you can convert one of the analog channels to an IP channel. For instance, if channel 4 is designated for an analog camera, disable it and reassign it as an IP channel. After this adjustment, Channels 4 and 5 can be used for the Esvis H9C camera, enabling you to view and record the dual-channel live stream from the camera. Since this model supports channels 5 and 6 for IP cameras by default, there is no need to convert the fourth channel from analog to IP. You can directly use channels 5 and 6 for the Esvis H9C camera. To begin adding the Esvis H9C dual-lens camera using the Onvif protocol, First, go to the Camera List menu on your Dahua HVR. Once you are in the Camera List section, click on the Manual Add button to initiate the process of adding the camera. On this page, Channel D5 will be selected automatically. Under the Manufacturer option, select the Onvif option to set the protocol as Onvif. Next, enter the IP address of the H9C camera in the designated field. Leave the RTSP and HTTP port settings as default, as shown above. Enter the camera username and password. The username is admin, and the password is the verification code found on the ESVIS camera label. Alternatively, you can retrieve this code from your ESVIS mobile app. To do this, select the camera in the app, navigate to the camera settings, and click the camera name or logo to view the device details, where you can find the verification code. The total channels option will now show one, and it is not editable at this stage. For the dual lens camera, you can add the dual stream by clicking the connect button to obtain the camera stream authorization. Once the connection is successful, the channel number will be retrieved from the camera. After establishing a successful connection, the total channels field will become editable. Here, you can enter 2 to enable the dual channel stream for the H9C camera. The remote channels will automatically be assigned as D1 and D2, allowing you to access both streams from the camera simultaneously. Finally, click the OK button to add these channels to the HVR. This action will finalize the integration of the ESVIS H9C dual lens camera, allowing you to view and record both channels on your Dahua HVR. Once added, you can start monitoring the camera feed seamlessly within your system. Once both channels are added, ensure that the camera status for both streams shows as green or online. You can now view both the fixed and pan tilt lens views of the ESVIS H9C camera on the HVR Live page. Note, the ESVIS camera is connected via Wi-Fi and assigned a dynamic IP address, which may change when the camera or router is rebooted. If added to the HVR under these conditions, you may experience a loss of connection between the camera and the HVR. To avoid this issue, set a fixed IP address using the SADP tool or ESVIS Windows PC software. 
we explain this process in another part of this video series. Additionally, ensure that the added camera has a recording schedule according to your preferences. You can configure it for motion detection or continuous recording under the storage and schedule settings for your convenience. Finally, to view both analog and added Wi-Fi cameras on the same page, navigate to the Live View section of your HVR. Use the Window Division options to arrange and choose how you want the camera feeds displayed, ensuring that you can monitor all connected cameras simultaneously. If you found this video useful, please consider supporting us. Your support helps us create more informative content like this and enables us to continue providing valuable resources to our audience. Whether it's through liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel, every bit of support is greatly appreciated.